and welcome back to my channel everyone well i hope you are doing great i'm back with the remaining portion that is the part 2 portion of the chapter producing and consuming goods from your book footprints where we have already seen what are we called goods or what are commodities what are the different uh, how do uh, what are the resources that we need for producing goods and we have seen that its classification also we have seen who all are the consumers and who all are the buyers now the most important thing we will discuss today to end the chapter is about the market now market what is a market we all know very well about the term uh, that market is essentially a place where the buyers meet the sellers right or the sellers meet the buyers so it is a place where sellers and buyers meet to sell and buy finished goods respectively often producers act as sellers a potter can come to the market in the city and sell sell his pots at other times producers sell their goods to people who in turn sell them in the market a potter may sell his pots to a trader in the village and the trader may sell them again uh, again the same in the city market so now a market is a huge place or it's a platform you may say where uh, all the buyers and the sellers meet and exchange their goods okay we all go to market we all go to supermarket super mall or very basic fish market we go to uh, buy groceries so these are actually the places where we have to go and look for our product and also where we can interact with the sellers okay now the person who is producing suppose a farmer he is producing crops okay but he is not essentially the seller he is selling the same amount of crop or crop at a a uh, reasonable price to suppose a middleman or a mahajan okay now that person becomes the seller of that, those crops at a little higher price to us so the producer is here the farmer but the producer here is not as same as the seller okay he is selling his product to someone who is again in turn selling the same product to us so it may differ all right a producer may not be essentially be a seller there are different persons in between uh, and in this way the price of a product depends or the price of a product is determined all right so the price at which we are getting the product is the end price of the of that particular product all right so market is very important with respect to the interaction between the buyers and the sellers we cannot think of uh, our lives without existence of a market we all need to go to the market for buying our essential things because clothing food and shelter are the three basic necessities that we have we live in our home and we require so many things to decorate our home to live properly we need food to sustain ourselves so we have to go out look for it buy it and come back we also go to the market for buying our clothes so our basic necessities are actually fulfilled when we go to the market where the buyers meet the sellers and they interact with each other and at a certain price we get our product and depending on that the profit earned by the producer depend all right so children that was all about the chapter where we have learned uh, in detail about the different activities of the buyers and the sellers and about their uh, classification about the different resources that we need or um, the producers need to uh, you know grow their product all right 
so that was all about the chapter uh, but i can see many of you have not still subscribed to the channel please do it and um, uh, you know be with us for more videos and more exciting sessions i'll be back with some more interesting video the next day please like the video comment and share and if you have any doubt of course leave your comment in the comment section all right i'll be back with something with the next chapter the next day till then take care children bye